Myself and Diana, the mother of the bride. As the day progressed, uh, progressed and you were all arriving, I was marvelling at what a wonderfully well-organised, relaxed, friendly and enjoyable occasion this was. This lasted right up to the time when I was asked when I would be speaking. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, often the bride's father has some very time-consuming organisational tasks to do, but on this occasion we had an experienced ex-bride and wedding organiser in the bride's sister, Daniela, who has been taking all of the strain. Of course, others have helped as well. Cousin Catherine and the groom's sister Sarah have been ushering us about. There was a lot of planning by the happy couple themselves, plus Diana and the groom's mother have been very busy too, not the least of which was Denise making all those beautiful bridesmaid's dresses. But Della has been ever present, crafting the invitations, table plans, liaising with the management and staff at this wonderful venue, and oh yes, supervising the hen nights, etc. <laughs> which is very important, and even organising me, so I was left with nothing much to do. I even had my suit collected from the hire shop, and then of course my speech. So come on, Della, can I have the rest of my speech now? <laughs> I'm waffling and people are beginning to realise. <laughs> Right, no, sorry, that was always my job. I hadn't forgotten. I was only joking. Relax. I, I did have some notes here, just in case. In fact, the happy, happy couple have been very good about all this because they gave us 18 months' notice of this day and have timed it for the best weekend of weather and to coincide with a long bank holiday to provide plenty of travel time. I think that Diana and I gave our parents about 18 days for our wedding all those years ago. I was musing last night about how organised couples are these days and I left the loo wondering why I'd left this speech <laughs> writing until the last bit. <laughs> now, in actual fact, I've been preparing this speech for ages and asking lots of victims, sorry, bride's father,